so hello youtube and welcome back to my channel this is vibhas singh here back again with another video and today we will be talking about the msi b550 gaming plus motherboard so let us jump right in So let us talk about the MSI B550 Gaming Plus today. Let us unbox the MSI B550 Gaming Plus. When you unbox it, you will get a manual, the MSI logo or the MSI logo sticker, you can say. The M.2 screws, uh, they are very tiny, extremely tiny. You get the two SATA cables. You also get a thank you note from MSI. Those are the contents of the box. Before we get into the review, let us talk about the differences between the B450 and the B550 chipset. The main difference between the B450 and the B550 chipset is that there is a Gen 4 or M2 Gen 4 support on the B550 chipset and there is no support for M2 Gen 4 on the B450 chipset. Now the most interesting and the best part about the uh, MSI B550 Gaming Plus motherboard is the build quality. I am very happy with the build quality of the MSI B550 Gaming Plus. You can see that it has got beefy heat sinks for the VRAM. Virtually there are no overheating problems on the MSI B550 Gaming Plus. Even when you look at other bloggers or other channels such as Gamers Nexus and Hardware Unboxed have you know tested the motherboard extensively and found out that there are no heating problems i mean the heat sinks are designed in such a way that they keep the motherboard the overall board cool the advantage of, of having a good heat sinks or vrm of the motherboards is that uh, you can perform core heavy workloads on the motherboard or you can perform core heavy workloads on your computer on your pc and it would not cause any major issues with the motherboard now if you go on the lower boards or if you go on the lower versions like for b450 or a320 you might face some issues i'm not saying that you would so in that case i would say that the b550 is a clear winner or the msi b550 gaming plus is a clear winner the most important point about the b550 is is that it supports the zen 3 architecture the new latest architecture by amd it supports that which means it will support the 5600x the 5800 the 5900 and the 5950 on the motherboard you can see a little uh, sticker which says that it does not support 3200g and 3400g from the previous generation so if you're buying this motherboard please make sure that you look at that because it will not support uh, those two uh, processors from the previous generation keep an eye on that the processor that i have chosen for my system is the 5600x which is overall, overall a great performer in all terms i can say uh, it, be it gaming be it single core performance or be it multi-core performance be it video editing be it 4k editing for that matter it is the best in the game right now if you look at the motherboard it has got four dim slots which support ddr4 memory uh, it has a support of 128 gig 4400 megahertz memory so that is a pretty wide scope of support i can say uh, four dim slots it's pretty awesome uh, so 32 gb each it has got two pcie express 16 slots and two pcie express one slots along with it has got six sata ports now coming to the rear io panel it comes with a pre-installed io panel and the quality of the panel is pretty good it's not flimsy uh, I mean it does not bend that is another plus point that I can mention about the b550 gaming plus now if you take a look at the rear side of the motherboard it has got one flash bios four USB 2.0 one gen 2 type C one gen 2 type a and two gen 1 type a along with that it has got one HDMI one display port one gigabit LAN and it has got a support for DirectX 12 so you can be sure that you know you will not face any DirectX support problems on this motherboard now if you take a look at the motherboard it has got two M.2 slots one is gen 4 and the other is gen 3 I'm not sure about that the gen 4 slot supports 64 gigabits per second and the other M.2 slot supports 32 gigabits per second the lightning M.2 gen 4 slot comes with a frozen shield or a frozen heat sink so that the M.2 NVMe drive does not overheat that is the main purpose of it 
and if you see one of the heat sinks has got RGB light or RGB lighting under it which can be controlled from the um, Dragon Center or Dragon Lighting Control Center you can say. Coming to the PCB quality of the motherboard it is made of 2 OZ copper which means it can withstand high and low voltage fluctuations as well however I would suggest you rather to please make use of a UPS or some kind of a voltage stabilizer for your PC components because if I were in your place I would not take that chance as these uh, components come at a high price now if you take a look at the MSI's Dragon Center there is one clock or one click overclock settings in the Dragon Center so if you want to overclock your uh, CPU or graphic card for that matter it is just one click away you can say let us talk about one of the PCI Express X16 slot or PCI Express 16 slots one of the slots has got steel armor on it uh, so as to support heavy graphic cards so that is another point or that is another plus point uh, which I give to MSI they have thought about this and included that for heavy graphics cards so that you do not spoil or you do, do not break or bend your motherboard in any way the last point that I would like to mention that it has got easy debug LEDs it would show you as to what part or what component in the PC is causing the problem I would like to conclude by saying that this particular motherboard has a Realtek audio driver installed on it which means it supports the 7.1 channel audio output it has also got an option for optical out and also it has a type C port on the rear IO and the form factor of this particular motherboard it is full ATX or it is you can say ATX motherboard so uh, keep that in mind when you purchase a cabinet for this particular motherboard or if you're planning to go for this motherboard so that's it for the MSI B550 gaming plus overall I can say this would be a best bang for your buck B550 gaming motherboard that you can purchase because if you take uh, if you take a look at every aspect or if you take a look at it it is perfect from every aspect keeping your budget in mind this is the most budget friendly board i can say that i could find if you're planning for it please go ahead with it as it's a great motherboard and also i would like to mention that uh, the price of b450 and b550 motherboards was much less before the launch of the amd zen 3 architecture after the launch of the amd zen 3 architecture and after nvidia had launched their uh, graphic cards the prices shot up i mean i bought this particular motherboard for 15,100 rupees from prime abgb however uh, i believe that this motherboard was available for somewhere around 12,000 or 11.5 i don't remember exactly but it was around at that price before the launch of the rtx uh, 30 series or rtx 3000 series graphic cards so that is one thing that i am a little sad about however uh, these motherboards will become common and at that time these motherboards will cost much lesser but i don't know when will it be well, it can be in six months or it can be later than that only time will tell so thank you for sticking around till the end of the video if you do like the video please do like comment share and subscribe and i request you i request you to please subscribe to my channel as maximum number of users who are visiting my channel and viewing my videos but are not subscribing to my channel if you hit the subscribe button it gives me a great deal of enthusiasm and a great deal of drive to make better videos and bring better content to you and also comment down below as to what type of videos you would like me to make as always thank you for watching stay home stay safe stay blessed happy riding and see you in the next video ciao